Hello everyone, my name is Ben Weiser and this is Proxy. So let's jump right into it. So what makes Proxy interesting? What makes it different? Well, this guy. This guy over here. Um, this is our little robot companion. And the idea behind this game is that you can program him and actually make him fight in a way that works for you. So I'm just going to go ahead and open our inventory here. And you'll see these little items here, this basic attack logic and this basic run logic. These are what I call modules, and they're basically pieces of code. So we can go ahead and modify that. And you'll see that it's actual Java code that you can program out and run. I could click a library over here, and I could learn how to program this thing. But of course, that might be a bit inaccessible for people. So that's why I've gone with this approach of having these modules that you find in this world, because then you don't have to program if you don't want to, but you can still find items which make your robot act in a different way. And of course, to make things a bit easier for people who haven't programmed but are interested in it, there is a block editor, which actually converts to and from Java, which I think is pretty cool. So we can see here, it says run to locks. I could, for instance, drag this down, and you'll see it goes to there. Anyway, I'm gonna cancel because I don't wanna change that. So we can of course go and chat to people when you start the game. You can see this guy who kind of pans us over to. Um, but I'm going to kind of ignore him for now. You guys can do that kind of stuff running around. So what are some cool things before I go into the gameplay of this? I actually made this game engine myself, which is really cool, I think. Um, yeah, everything you've seen here I've made. So it's really being a process of love creating this game. And I'm pretty proud of it find some animals of course and stuff in this world as well so as we walk over here all quickly let's let us know that we can save at our ship why don't we go ahead and fight some enemies so I can show you guys a bit more of what this is about and so you can see these tasks over here to the side equip the basic attack um, yeah the basic attack logic and the basic run logic um, I can of course open this up and equip this as an item but you'll see that when I try to equip this item it's got an issue well why is that so I'm going to go over to my, my mission log and I can click on this. It'll say your attack module has been damaged. It will need to be fixed. So the idea is this got damaged when your ship crashed. So let's go into that. And you'll see there's quite literally a section that just has broken code because I thought that would be the most obvious thing in the world then. So we could go ahead and program this. I'm just going to go ahead into the block editor. We'll grab that out and grab an attack locked, enem um, locked enemy with arms. So this makes it also a lot more readable than the regular code editor for people who haven't programmed before. You can see it says just if an enemy is locked, then if an um, if locked is near, and then finally it says attack locked enemy with arms. So we can go ahead and look at the code now, and then that normally makes a lot more sense to people. So let's save this and equip it, and you'll see here we've successfully done that task. Um, you'll also see that that description for that task has actually changed a bit as well, because now um, is that the attack logic? Yeah, it says this module was critically, um, was critically, <laughs> um, it seems like a terrible, um, terrible grammar year, I'll have to change this. But yeah, that's basically, it gives a different description for the previous perspective. Um, you can also see we've actually got a world map over here. Um, I can go ahead and right click and it gives us a nice marker in the world you can see over there. Um, and we can also see a nice little enemy database. And this will actually become useful because enemies fight in different ways. So you have to find different modules to fight them in different ways. So this is where you'll have to kind of look back on when you get into a fight and go, oh, yeah, how does that enemy fight? Um, so we can find little characters and stuff to talk to in this world. Um, yeah, Lumberjack Jim says, go away, I'm busy. What are you doing? I'm getting ready for winter. I get cold easily and I'm low on firewood. Robots don't get cold. Go away. You're not even hitting the tree. And then kind of doesn't want to talk to us. So let's go find a fight. So we can go up here and we can find a little enemy base. So you'll see that it pops up with this description whenever you find an enemy for the first time. And then this in turn will put it in our enemy database. So yeah, this, this robot's the most basic type possible, these grunts. So we've equipped this module. So check this out. I'm going to close. Um, sorry about that weird thing that that's just for the Linux version. It's a bit missed. Um, so let's go ahead and unequip both these modules first, so I'll do that. And you'll see here he stops doing stuff mid-fight, which is really cool. So you can actually swap out these modules while you're fighting and test around with these things. Um, 
The other cool thing you'll notice is this little blue bar at the top. That's an energy bar. And the idea behind this is that code uses energy. So you can see these two icons here and they're different, co um, different colors for these different pieces of code. That's not just because they have different icons. Um, it's actually because different pieces of code use more energy. So we can, for instance, open this orange one. It uses more code. It's quite large. Let's go into the blue one. It uses a lot less code. And there are red eye uh, modules as well, which are massive. So this is to kind of encourage you to also write better code in the game. So we can equip that. And let's still do robot do his thing. And I can of course shoot during fights. You don't really need it right now, but during big fights it becomes you know, you have to do your part as well. But you can't really survive without your robot, which is the main idea. And of course we can find items in the game. And I already have that module, so it doesn't matter. So let's go into this building and I'll show you the other kind of cool thing in this game, which is you can actually find item parts in this world and equip them for your robot. So Here's a builder's, build, um, builder's body over here, and it actually does have a damage rating, so you'll have to occasionally swap these things out. Let's go ahead and equip that, and now our robot is a bit more custom, which is nice, and he's a bit more of a friend. So you know, that just gives you guys a general idea about what proxy is about. Um, that's even a little quest you can do if you want to go fight these bandits over here and check out that city. And well, I hope you guys like it.